Let's get more on the Philippines and cross over to Manila for an exclusive interview this morning with Kerry Tevez, who's the Philippines finance minister, and he joins us on the line from Manila. Gary, Mr. Tevez, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Call. So let's uh, get to your uh, budget deficit at this point. It looks like higher tax revenue helping you narrow that gap. But how realistic is it that the Philippines will actually meet its target of balancing the budget in three years from now? Well, uh, we need to uh, restore what we have lost by way of uh, the revenue eroding measures that were approved by Congress. Uh, this represented about 0.6% of GDP, which is about 49 billion pesos. We need to continue improving on tax administration, curbing smuggling, and uh, doing a better job in implementing our action plans. And, uh, of course, we still have some assets to sell this year. We hope we'll be successful. The combination of these three uh, will be helpful in allowing us to achieve an, uh, a balanced budget by 2013. Mm. Now, Mr. Tevez, of course, uh, the Philippine economy faces a lot of headwinds. For instance, we have the El Nino effect uh, maybe impacting the agrarian economy in the country. In fact, the El Nino effect uh, could actually damage 11 billion pesos worth of crops. So, again, a lot of difficulties upcoming for the Philippines. Before this uh, phenomenon, the El Nino phenomenon, the power shortage, uh, uh, a lot of institutions are looking at the high end of our target. Uh, which is at 3.6 or sometimes even 4 percent. With these uh, developments, uh, we're still looking at the low end of the target, which is mm -hmm. to grow at 2.6 percent. Okay. Well, what about uh, consumer prices? Is inflation a concern as well in your economy? Because January figures, 4.3 uh, percent consumer price rise, that's the fastest uh, in close to eight years. So don't you have to raise interest rates at this point? Inflation has been uh, lower than expected. In, in the report of the deputy governor yesterday, it was 4.3 when inflation rate was expected to reach close to 5 percent. So there's still confidence that we will be hitting our uh, inflation target for the year. Uh, Mr. Tevez, do you think uh, the economy right now needs higher interest rates uh, to keep inflation in control? Uh, well, it's too early to tell. That is, of course, the jurisdiction and prerogative of the Banco Central. But mm -hmm. based on our interaction with them, they'll be able to uh, continue with the uh, low, low interest rate regime. Uh, and then uh, as we go along, I guess they will have to make adjustments whichever way. Okay. Mr. Tevez, thank you so much for your time. It's Gary Tevez, the Philippines Finance Minister.